life, bound together in death, crafted the one thing that could challenge Sauron, a ring of power. But power can blind those who seek it. The great deceiver has returned to Middle-earth to rebuild his armies, to rule all. The corruption will be contained no longer. طيب اللي جابت تفاعلات اللي جابت الحياة دي طيب أمي مفيش حد جابهم دي قوانين الطبيعة دي قوانين الفيزيكس في كنا ومين جاب قوانين الفيليبس دي يا ولد وهو انت ليه متخيل انه لازم يكون حد يعني ليه ما يكونش شيء مثلا قانون من قوانين الطبيعة The quote is made by Hawking, and I'm going to give my best memory of uh, memory of this. He says, "Because there's a law like gravity, the universe can and will create itself out of nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, spontaneous creation is the reason there is something rather yes. than nothing." And then I think there was an addendum: "You don't need God uh, to account for the universe." This was a little bit of a retraction because maybe Hawking in the past had a little bit of an open door about that. He did. He left the question open at the end of the mind of God, but yeah. he's come out clearly as an atheist. It's that quotation that you just made that was the motivation for me writing the book. I was shown that just before Hawking's book appeared and asked by a national newspaper to comment on it. And I was so amazed at this. Because there is a law of gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. And I thought, hang on a minute, that's a flat contradiction. Because there is a law of gravity, that is because there is something, mm. the universe creates itself from nothing. I mean, that's just flat contradiction. And then I thought, but wait a minute, because there is a law of gravity. He doesn't even say because there is gravity. And it seemed to me there that he's become a victim of thinking that has become a little bit popular in academic circles, that laws can create things, mm. which is nonsense, of course. Unfortunately, the financial crisis came about by that. People thought that the laws of mathematics could create money, but they can't create mm. anything at all. More seriously, perhaps still, in that sentence, the universe will create itself. Now, if I say X creates Y, what do those words mean? Well, if I've got X, it'll produce Y. So if I say, if X creates X, what does that mean? It means if I've got X, it'll produce X. And in the book, I just put, as it came out in the film, I say, well, that just proves that nonsense remains nonsense, even if spoken mm. by uh, uh, very clever uh, that scientists. That got one of the biggest laughs of the whole day. Yes, I and mean, what I... people don't realize is that here is Hawking. He's a brilliant, famous scientist. He was just ahead of me at Cambridge. I remember it very well. I have no quibble with his science, but it's what he deduces from it is the problem. And it reminds me of something that's very important in this area, Rice, and it's this. Statements of scientists aren't always statements of science, but the trouble is because they've got authority, people think this is an authoritative statement of science, and that Hawking has solved the mystery of the existence of the universe. He hasn't. He's given a statement that has three distinct levels of contradiction built within it. That's not a very good start. What is the reason why they believe in the multiverse? Um, this is a good question. Sometimes I think it will be 
to avoid the existence of a designer. In order to explain the fine tuning and rescue the chance hypothesis, theorists will appeal to the many worlds hypothesis. The scholars derived full logical explanations on how to explain that which begins to exist. Here they are. Number one, it came from nothing. Number two, it created itself. Number three, it was created by something else created. Number four, it was created by something uncreated. So we could apply this to the whole universe because we now know the universe wasn't always there, it began. Whether you talk about mathematics, whether you talk about philosophy, whether you talk about the second law of thermodynamics or cosmology or the Big Bang, the point is the universe began. If it began, let's talk about the first option. Did it come from nothing? This is impossible because if I got some nothing, added a little more nothing, and sprinkled some more nothing, all we would get is nothing. Exactly. So from nothing, nothing comes. The second option. Could the universe create itself? Well, this is an impossibility because that would mean the universe was in existence and not in existence at the same time. Let me give you an easy example for you to understand this. Could your mother give birth to herself? No. So we can easily say that the universe couldn't create itself. Do you remember the third option? Maybe the universe was created by something else created. Maybe. Well, let's think about this a little bit. If this universe, universe one, was created by universe two, and universe two, was created by universe 3 because it's created but then universe 3 since it's created was created by universe 4 and universe 4 was created by universe 5 if that goes on forever would we ever have our universe universe 1 of course not let me make this even easier to understand imagine I'm a marine and I want to shoot a bird and before I shoot the bird I have to ask permission from the marine behind me but he has to do that too and the marine behind him he also has to ask for permission and that goes on forever will i ever shoot the bird no just like if this universe was ultimately created by something else that was created and that goes on forever you wouldn't have the universe in the first place so the final option is well the universe must have been created by something uncreated, which is the most logical, rational conclusion. And if there's an uncreated creator, then it follows, it must be powerful, because it created the entire universe. It must be knowing or intelligent, because it created laws in the universe. And a lawgiver implies knowledge or an intelligence. It must be different, transcendent, because it created the universe. For example, if I create the chair, do I become the chair? No, I'm distinct and disjoined from the chair. Also, this creator must be eternal. Because if it is uncreated, it means it was always there. If it's always there, it means this creator is eternal.